Humans. Sweet little things. They were new to our alliance. They were uplifted so greatly by us that they didn't know what to do with themselves. They brought funny little sciences with them, things that didn't matter to anyone else but them. Of course, basic math and chemistry, biology, physics, all important. But they were excessive about things that generally did not need research. They were accepted, though. The Alliance accepts all species willing to join. We were the best thing to happen to them. They poured over our research fervently, or we accepted their additions to the archives. Much of their work was classification and categorization that we didn't understand, but took novelty in. Human researchers were critical to any given research facility, usually two of them per room, sometimes two of them per experiment. The humans amazed us with their tenacity, creativity and outrageous suggestions. Their drive to research was amazing. The species appeared young, too. They had no adaptations for either defense or offense, save for their intelligence. Intelligence that seemed to be vastly dwarfed by ours. Their creativity, though, truly amazing. Humans. The young, new, cute, harmless creatures to the Alliance. That's what we thought. And we were wrong. We were so fucking wrong. They showed us their histories. Gruesome. Violent. Costly. But what came from that short period of time amazed us. A few thousand years, and they had only been in their own system. No surprise, given their adamantly curious nature, needing to scour all the territory within their star's heliosphere. To see how far they had come, from pinning what some considered their god to a wooden cross, to skipping across their own planets, in only a few thousand years? Amazing. That's the only word for it. The only differences between our histories and theirs was that they were faster. Ours were just as gruesome. Slavery, abuse, murder, hatred, annihilation, genocide, torment. But it's over now. None of that would happen again. Not to us, not to them. Not to anyone in the Alliance, or out of it. Yes, it was true. Some species declined to join, but they wanted to remain on good terms. So we did. There was one, though. One thing. It does not get the right to be called a species. It is exempt. There was one thing we always held conflict with. The Null. They were soulless machines that swept through our systems, raising everything and killing everyone. That's part of why we remained on good terms with non-Alliance species. Species outside of the Galactic Quadrant, that was the Alliance's territory. They provide us asylum once every century, and we provide them with resources for a desperately low price. But there came a problem. Our analysts had picked up the charge of the swarm. No worries. The Null always took three decades to arrive once detected anyways. Plenty of time. Only, this was bigger. There were more of them. Impossibly more. So many that they would raise the galaxy rather than just our Quadrant. This wasn't just more Null. This was all of the Null. When the humans learned of the Null, they asked us why we hadn't killed them. So every member of the Alliance Council had to patiently explain why it was impossible to kill the Null. The humans seemed to understand well enough. Until every last human, yes, every last one, no matter the age, no matter their health, no matter their job, every human went into the adjacent quadrant. With them, they took enough equipment to begin their own fledgling confederacy. And they were silent for 30 years. We assumed that they had broken, that they fled, ran to hide, not understanding that they were in more danger without us. We prepared our own way. Bitter denial. I admit it was pathetic. All we did was assemble every last warship those in our quadrant could spare, and lie in wait for the onslaught sure to ensure sometime in the coming years. We thought it would be honourable to make a last stand. Funny. I think human entertainment rubbed off on us. I often remember the first thing a human ever said to me. Apparently, it was the first thing lots of humans said upon first meeting different species. They called me a predator species. They called us prey. Everyone laughed at the notion that we would compete in such ways. We were far beyond those points in our social development. That said, it was a curious thing. There were always exceptions to the rules they set out, and sometimes they changed their minds on whether a species was predator or prey and they always found a way to provide half-hints and non-answers to the question always jokingly aimed at them. Are humans predators or prey? A trivial topic of no necessity. I remembered that the moment we watched the Null silently glide through the nebulous clouds at the fringes of the galaxy. I remember the classification criteria to be predator or prey. The only thought in my head was that it didn't matter what criteria we all fit. We were the prey, 
and the null were the predators. We could see our threat scanners were erroring out because of how many there were. Automated targeting systems failed because they couldn't choose a lock. Despite that, only some of the null got out of the clouds before coming to a complete standstill. Of the insignificant fraction of null that was peeking from the nebula, I could see for the viewports far more than enough to raise ten systems in an hour. They were nothing compared to what must hide beyond the haze of the galaxy's edge. To say I, no, we, were too scared to think is an understatement. Something happened. Something that I still don't completely understand. Somehow, some way, something bigger than the entire Alliance fleet appeared above us. Appeared. It didn't seem to warp in. No wormhole signatures. Nothing. It just popped into existence. But somehow the Null had anticipated it. And that's why they stopped. Then another one of those ships appeared. Then five more. Then more than should have been possible. Suddenly, space seemed finite. The Null forces shifted again. It took a long while, but the Null shifted again. It didn't feel as though they had regained lost confidence. It felt as though the Null were unnerved. Afraid. The first thing to happen outside of mere movement was a simple transmission to all Alliance ships. They, whomever they were, ordered us to retreat to the nearest star. Not a single ship hesitated. And, once at our ordered point of retreat, we received another transmission. It was an order to face all ships plus 10 degrees X, plus 10 degrees Y, via the Alliance Navigational Standard. Every ship complied. Fear and curiosity drove us. Whatever those ships belonged to was enough to make the Null fear a fight. The Null. Scared. Space is a lightless void. Darkness is the natural state of the universe. The way things should be. Then space lit up. Someone flipped a switch. The switch flipped again and plunged the universe back into darkness, back to how it should be. Someone forced space to light up, if only for a moment. But space flickered. Someone, something, screamed a challenge into the void. And this time, the void fled. The space before us filled with the insurmountable wall of spacecraft that dwarfed star systems, appearing as they had before. Nothing one moment, there the next. I regret not being the first to send a transmission, but in a way I'm glad I didn't. My mind went to the species not present, those too primitive to fight, or too insignificant to be deserving of extinction so suddenly. The uncountable numbers of individuals not here now, but back home. I thought of the humans, and if they would even know about their phantom saviours, as our families at home would upon our return. My thoughts shattered into nothingness, when a transmission from what was apparently the least ship was sent to each and every Alliance craft. They spoke in standard galactic, a language coined by the Alliance, but it was rough. Only one species sounded like that when speaking standard galactic. I found myself thinking, were these prey, or were these predators? When they spoke, something stirred. Something old had awakened. Something that never should have been roused. Some cosmic force had awoken that which would not return to its slumber. The shadows of the void blanket us. The brilliance of the void flows around us. The mystery of the void bends to our will. We are not prey, but we were born with fear. We are not predators, but we were born with hunger. We are the humans. We are born of love. What are we to claim this if we do not guide the way? What are we to claim this if we do not protect? What are we to claim this if we do not love back? We are neither prey nor predator. We are sentinels. We will not start fights, but we will end them. When they spoke, I learned. Humans were mortal as we were, but they were the first, undoubtedly. The first unblinking look into the void had been human. The first challenge screamed into the void, that was without opposition. Sentinels of the void, sentenced to watch over life as guardians, they were humans.